I want to, let me just, just my glasses. up, there we go, okay, I want to talk about Scorpio energy today, because the moon is in Scorpio, and the fact that this sign, in its nature, um, it relates to um, desire, it's that energy of being very passionate about something, and being really super determined and committed to achieve something, to gain something. Now, there's something about cutting off snake heads and having snake heads grow back. When you cut off that desire, you don't allow yourself to experience that desire. Um, and that energy sort of coursing through you and allowing it to be present within you. Scorpio is a fixed water sign. And as a fixed sign, it latches on to a goal, an ambition, something that it wants to achieve. And it goes there. And it doesn't give up until it reaches the end. Now, this can be super positive. And these can be wonderful qualities. But recall that the South Node is in Scorpio right now. And the South Node is what we need to release and let go. What patterns and what ways of going about our lives does not serve us? Because when something does not serve us, we must be honest with ourselves and face the truth, another part of Scorpio energy, to say, this is not working for me right now. This is not working out for me. I must let this go. Now, Scorpio can regenerate. Scorpio can heal itself. Because at the high road, it is about transformation. However, you know, this sign's a fixed sign. And it really is about going all in to a situation, to um, whatever you want to achieve. And you know, it's so funny because as I am doing this video, I just want to speak to this because it's on my mind, is something which is not Scorpio related. I have a decision that I'm trying to come up with right now. My decision is how am I going to come on these videos? Am I going to try to slow down? or just talk at any speed that I want to. Well, it all depends, and I'm not going to decide either way. And as I'm recording, um, I'm looking out my window, and it's starting, the wind's starting to blow and starting to get stormy, which is another Scorpio um, weather. Scorpio weather is sort of dark, stormy, cloudy rainy, that kind of thing. Um, and where I live um, in the United States, in the Midwest, we need rain badly. Um, but anyway, um, all suffering leads to attachment and desire is also the root of all suffering. Scorpio at best is a fixed sign that has its will, it stays its course goes all in. It persists. It doesn't give up. However, it's an intense energy. And the south node is in Scorpio. And these are some compulsive qualities of Scorpio, these shadow sides which we must release. And what, what must we move into? What have we been moving into? is the Taurus energy. I'm going to allow myself to have a break. 
I am going to take time out for myself. I'm going to slow everything down. I'm going to just approach this one step at a time. I'm not going to rush it. And I'm also not going to compromise the things that I need to nurture and take care of myself. What is important to you and what brings you peace? What brings you consistency and contentment? What makes you feel grounded? What makes you feel stable? All of these are what we need to be moving towards. Fixed signs are very stubborn. Very stubborn energies, very persistent energies. That's positive, but then not so much. For example, I couldn't believe what I did today. I was torturing myself and I was being very mean to myself because I was determined to download every unlisted and private video I have on my YouTube channel because I want to have all my public content on one account. And then I have several other accounts. I want to move all those unlisted private videos to those other accounts. So all the videos I up uploaded to my YouTube channel, which you're watching now, that are sitting there unlisted and private, I had the desire to get rid of those videos and move them on to other channels to keep things separate because of the many videos that were unlisted that were there that I have deleted compulsively. And I've been very guilty over deleting videos compulsively instead of taking the time to download them to save them. Um, every time I've worked something so hard with full intensity, with that you know, desire that, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm determined and I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to push myself until, you know, the bitter end. Every single time I have that mindset, it doesn't work out for me. And so I really want to see all of those videos on those other accounts, but there's so many videos and I know that I am not going to sit at a computer downstairs downloading every single one of these videos at one time. But I was stubborn and I was persistent and I would not allow myself to give up. Then um, you know, not surprisingly at all, um, I just stopped because I was sick and tired of it. I needed to take a break and I was torturing myself and there were too many videos and I lost my patience. Okay, I'll take a break. I'll have lunch. I'll do, you know, what I need to do. And then I'll come back to it later. So this is sort of the Taurus energy, I'm not rushing it, I'm not pushing, it doesn't want to push. Um, and um, yeah, so, you know, where can you slow it down and just do one step at a time without, you know, being so determined to get it done um, and doing all the things that I did. Um, is that sort of the downside of Scorpio energy that I wanted to talk to you about? And I also spoke to you about the upside of Taurus energy. So I hope that you like this. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you found it interesting. Bye for
for now, everybody.